Welcome to MMT Chats. This episode is brought to you by Iskar with new ideas for machining intelligently. Hey, MMT followers, Christina Fugis with Mole Making Technology for another quick MMT chat five in five, and that is five best practices in five minutes on ways to improve efficiencies. My guest today is Andre Topper, who is the shop foreman with Industrial Molds um, out in Rockford, Illinois. So hello, Andre. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. All right. So are you ready? Yes, I am. All right, let's get into this. Question number one, how do you create and maintain an employee-centered culture? Well, obviously, um, all our employees, we know them all well. You know, we have good relationships with everybody. We'll make sure a good culture because we're all on the level, same playing field. We all think alike. We want to make sure we think alike. We get everyone to uh, so they put their inputs in, planning together. Um, make improvements in the shop. We all have meetings to discuss it with each other. We don't just do it as management. We include the guys. That's the most important thing. And we try to have outings, try to keep everyone close knit. So, and that's what keeps a good team. And uh, obviously that's the best way to go with us. Good answer. All right, number two, what are your top three best technology investments and why? Well, obviously for us, um, we have two obvious ones, our EDM cells and our HSM cells. They're automated. We do palletizing. Um, those are the two biggest ones where everything's automated. Those can run lights out operations, uh, very simple loads. Um, those are huge, obviously, for success to machine at night. And the other area, um, we're doing a lot more laser welding. We bought a laser welder. So we try to keep things that speeds up our repairs, quick turn. There's no sending anything out. We can do it right away. So that's another area where we're really excelling there. And it's pure, pure speed to help us. I love it. Efficiencies, automation, welding, good ones. All right. Number three, what is your latest process improvement? All right. So this one's actually uh, pretty new to me where I'm just getting introduced to this, but we're actually getting um, a processing improvement engineer. Um, I believe Ooh. he's... From, he's coming from Pyramid, and he's going to introduce a lot of, uh, obviously, like uh, non-conformances. We're going to try to streamline, like, our mistakes, our errors. And he's going to, like, bring some of that technology to us. Maybe it's not so much maybe a, um, more um, keeping track of our histories, better okay. mistake patterns. And that's going to help us understand where how we're making our mistakes, um, better ways of fixing it, instead of the old school way saying, uh well, we, we see the problem, stop that, don't do that. Maybe a better way to educate people. It's all about data, right? You can't fix something if you don't know what you're doing wrong, right? So you gotta track that, so that's great. And that's kind of, it's awesome that you have that sister company, right? On the molding yeah. side that you're able to, to kind of team up and use those resources there that have different skill sets. I think that's great. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. They're gonna bring it to us and that's um, obviously uh, new for us. So it's kind of exciting and different. That'll be interesting to talk about as the months go by. All right, number four, how do you measure success? Success for us is based on probably most basic things, our on-time deliveries. If we hit our on-time deliveries, do we get repeat customers? Obviously, do we get more work from customers? Um, so that's the biggest way to um, see success. And obviously we're getting success, that means we're staying busy. Um, if we're staying busier, we're outsourcing more, so. It all is based on how we perform. And that's why it's simple. Last but not least. All right. How do you stay competitive, or put another way, how do you take advantage of new business opportunities? How do you ensure that? Um, well, obviously, you have to stay competitive. Obviously, you need to have the, the latest technologies. You got to be up on everything. You can't stay stagnant. Um, and that's what we do well. Like I say, with the automated cells, we always improve that. Um, basically, we try to be system driven, not so much um, on the bench type thing. I have plans in place that obviously start from the start all the way throughout the shop. If we continue that and improve those all the time, it's going to always streamline us, make us faster. And uh, that's obviously success will come with that. I love it. That's it. That's five and five. 
That was easy. Actually, that you're, ta- you're all about speed, and that was pretty speedy. So congrats to you for hitting that target. So I want to thank you, Andre, for your time today and for everybody watching. Visit moldmakingtechnology.com for everything mold making and stay informed and stay inspired.